When going through pre-algebra and the beginning of Algebra 1, you will have encountered the letters X and Y over and over again. But as you may know, these are not just letters, but symbols that represent something in math. Now, in this video, I will be covering what X and Y both mean algebraically in equations and what they mean graphically. Both X and Y mean similar things, but we'll focus on X for now. X is the 24th letter of the English alphabet, but is it the 24th letter of the math alphabet? No. So what gives? What is X? Well, in short, X is not a letter, but instead a number that we simply don't know the value of. It is an unknown value. In math, we call that a variable. You can add, subtract, multiply, divide, and even take the power of x just like you can with other numbers. The only difference is that you have no idea what the number x is. Imagine you have three boxes of tennis balls, but you have no idea how many tennis balls are in each box, though each box will have the same amount of tennis balls. If you were to manipulate the box by adding or subtracting a number of identical boxes, with the same number of tennis balls inside, you would have a different number of tennis balls, but you would have no idea how many total tennis balls you have ended up with. X as an unknown is one of the more common ways that it is represented, but it can also be represented as a number that can be changed. To understand that, we must understand what Y really means. Algebraically, x is a function of y, meaning that y is the unknown resulting from creating an input for x. That may be a lot to unpack, but things will become clearer soon. Let's go back to the tennis balls, for example, and say that the total number of tennis balls is equal to y. y represents our output, so if we know how many tennis balls were in each box, we'd know how many tennis balls we have total. If you know algebra, we can kind of reverse engineer this too. Given the amount of tennis balls that we have in total, we can figure out how many are in each box. What if you do not know either X or Y, but want to know kind of the changing value of the two as they change? This is slightly more complicated and involves something known as a graph. On a graph, the bottom line is called the X axis. This is the value that we can change, like the changing the number of tennis balls in each box. The vertical line is known as the y-axis, which is the value that changes depending on what x is. Think of it like the number of total tennis balls depending on how many tennis balls are in each box. Let's graph our equation from earlier. If you do not know how to graph this, don't worry. Knowing that is not necessary to understand what x and y mean. Now, let's look back at the graph. The line is our equation y equals 3x. This means that we have three boxes of tennis balls, but we do not know how many tennis balls are in each box, or how many total tennis balls we have. Let's suppose that each box has two tennis balls, and you don't know how many total tennis balls that is. All we have to do to figure that out is look at the x-axis. Find the number two, and look where the line is at that point. I'll draw a line here to visualize it better. Now look where on the y-axis that is. Because 6 is the height of where the intersection point is, we must have 6 total tennis balls. This point could be called 2, 6, as a coordinate pair, because the input x caused the output y. This was only a simple explanation into what x and y mean as variables in mathematics. Let me know in the comments what else you would like to see from me, or if you have any other questions that you would like me to answer, and thank you.